So we'll just have a quick look under the Liberty 2.2 in the white wagon before I start to swap it over. So she's going to need a bit of tidying up, as you can see. She's just a bit rusty there. And obviously I'll be giving these bolts plenty of spray before I try and crack them as well. I don't know whether I'll be able to reuse the exhaust, but it's not leaking as of yet. And then over the other side, similar. So she does need a little bit of TLC under here too. Um, cam belts actually look quite good. So we probably won't bother doing anything about those. And we'll just tidy up some of these oil leaks. Put new rock recover gaskets on, which I've got. But yeah, we'll just start cleaning her up first. Righto. So I've pressure washed the engine off. And compared to what it was, it's actually come up quite good. I don't think it's ever going to come up brilliant. It's just um, too far gone. But I've basically pressure washed it and degreased it and used some rust converter on it as you can see with possibly moderate effects overall um but i think that's as good as it's going to get now so i'm not going to bother cleaning it up anymore it's still running okay and obviously to do that i just dropped the alternator off so i wasn't flooding that with too much excessive water and so forth but I've left the coolant system in if I duck underneath you'll see that compared to before it doesn't look just too bad it still needs a good clean up to make it look a bit more reasonable especially the sump the sump looks horrid so I don't know whether I'll actually pull it off once the engine's out I know I should but I might just wire brush it while it's just hanging in the air and give it a coat of paint. That might do it for now. I'm hoping that the exhaust will come off okay. I've flooded the nuts with some WD-40. So we'll find out when we move it over there shortly anyway. Alright. Alright, last time she's going to run until hopefully the engine's in the red car. So I've unbolted half the exhaust, hence the excessive noise. But this is it, engine out time, and then the serious stuff starts. So I've taken radiator out. And I was just about to take the intake air box out but of course that's had modified brackets which are all rusty and won't move so i'm actually just going to take the air intake pipe out and that'll give me access to those bolts once the engine's out so fortunately i've loosened the six exhaust bolts and thank goodness they all came out so that was a little bit of a concern but so far so good so just a matter of start unplugging everything that i videoed previously all right here we go